All right, so now we're ready for the rest of um, part three of 5.6 physical properties analysis. We left off having you create this particular inventor part. Again, um, you may have this already from your practice problems, um, and all you would need to do is adjust the dimensions. You can do this one the same way you did part one. So I already have this created. And again, it asks you for brass. So I'm going to maximize inventor. And I'm going to go to my materials list. And I'm going to find brass. We'll go with brass soft yellow. And then we'll save that. And then we'll do our eye properties analysis on our brass objects. Remember, go to the orange eye, um, go down and click on eye properties. We want the physical. Okay, it's already brass. We've got a density. We don't have a volume yet, so I'm going to click update. And then that's going to give us a volume of V equals Um, v equals 2.031 inches cubed. And it says, what is the density of brass in grams per, grams per cubic inch? Okay. Um, that should really say grams per cubic centimeter. I've never heard of grams per cubic inch before. So, density in grams per cubic centimeter is 8.470 grams per cubic centimeter. Grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, then it asks you again, what is the density of brass in pounds per cubic inch? I'm sure your work, including all conversion factors. Um, we're just going to type that into Google. So I'm going to take my 8.470 and get pounds per cubic inch. So this is going to be 0 0.305 pounds per cubic inch. So D equals 0 .0 0 0.305 pounds per inch cubed. And we'll make this in bold again. And, and it says find the mass of the object if it is made of brass. So the mass here is 0 0.6222 pounds. Okay. Now it asks you again for the surface area of the part. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with part one and get the surface area. All right. So question six. Make sure you show your work for question five for surface area. Question six says, what will be the total cost to ship 200 brass parts if the shipping rate is 425 per pound? Use the physical properties from CAD analysis. Okay. So let's do our equalities. All right. We know that one part equals 0 0.622 pounds. And we also know that one pound costs $4.25 to ship. And we know we want 200 brass parts. So we're going to have to type in our total, figure out our total pounds to ship, and then multiply that by 425. So let's substitute. So I'm going to have 0 0.622 pounds for one part times 200 parts, close that so we can see our part, times 425, all right, 
Then I'm going to go to my calculator. We'll move the calculator over to the other side so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to type in 0 0.622 times 200 times 425. And for my solve, I'm going to get $528 and 70 cents. We'll make that bold. So that covers the third part of this screencast. Stay tuned for the high density polyethylene.